Is the Big Mac getting smaller? Let's talk about that. Good um, mythical morning. Link, you ever heard of shrinkflation? It has absolutely nothing to do with any part of your body. Um, I believe that it's a money saving technique where companies shrink their products steadily over time while the price stays the same. Ah, uh, you're close. It's actually a money saving technique where companies shrink their products steadily over time while the price stays the same. Oh. Usually they do this because the cost of raw goods have gone up and sometimes companies are raw. open about it. But oftentimes they try to keep it a secret. Back in 2007, BJ Novak brought this up to Conan on uh, his show about Cadbury cream eggs. Take a look. This is this year's Cadbury egg, not the mini egg, not the mini cream egg. This is this year's egg. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the egg. Oh, what? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, from a couple of years ago. Ooh, look at that. Judge for yourself, America. He had kept one. And yeah, I'm not gonna speak for all of America, but it's smaller. Yeah, unless he's unless he's got holding that one a lot closer. No, he, but it actually looks like they're right next to each other. He's not. It, it turns did get out smaller. Cadbury is not the only company that is doing this. There are other products that have also gotten smaller. It's time for <laughs> over the years have our products gotten more tiny, or do my eyes deceive me like I've been sipping the red whiny? Okay, Link. <laughs> each round, I'm going to present you with uh, the most current version of two. That's actually for two different products. Now, one has suffered from shrinkflation, the other has stayed the same size. Now, okay. you're gonna try to be guessing which one has actually shrunk over time, and of course, you're playing for a prize. The default thing that you're gonna win right here is this giant jar of Skippy peanut butter. I've seen bigger, but I'll take it. But every one that you get wrong, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. Not with magic, I'm just gonna grab a smaller jar. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna shrink. Get it, shrinkflation? All right, ah. Link, you see what you have before you? I, yeah, it's right here. It's elevated yeah. on a green It's to get close to pasture. your eyes. Mounds Candy Bars, the delicious precursor to Almond Joy, were invented by candy maker Vincent Natito, my favorite Natito, in 1920. Natito. This candy bar weighs 1.75 ounces. Tootsie Pops, the classic American lollipop, were invented in 1931. This lollipop weighs 17 grams, or point, don't touch. Why, why can I not touch it? Just tell me. Because you might remember the old ones. <laughs> well, then, that, that's part of the game, man. Can he touch? I, can I not use my memory? I've been told he can touch. Okay. Uh, 0 0.60 ounces. Which sweet treat has shrunk in size over the years? This one's, this is heavy. You know, I am learning something. It's heavier, so I can't, I have a hard time imagining this thing being even heavier. Should we not let him touch? I've been told we might not need to let you touch. It depends on how well you do in this round. Because I really want this bit of this peanut butter getting smaller to play. <laughs> um, I had a lot of these as a kid. Never once tried to have this because I was afraid of the coconut. I remember them being this size. So I'm gonna go with the mounds. There's two, yeah, there's two in there. I, I'm pretty confident that they're the one, things that have gotten smaller. Link, you are right. Yes. yes. Now this one. Oh, and one, you have the. Oh my goodness. We this speculate is, that this is from the '60s or '70s, and it weighs two and one eighth ounce. Says. <laughs> and so today's bar is 1.75 ounces. That's a decrease or a decrease of 17.6 percent. Should I open it? Should we look? We should. I've been told he can open it. Okay. Because. Oh gosh, maybe you shouldn't have. It's got, it's still got the slider. Open that one. Oh, the slider the came out, but stuck. not the. This is the uh, original mound right here. Yeah, I would I would say that uh, it is. Don't touch it to it. Now I have to eat this one for later. It's a little smaller, but uh, I gotta 17. tell you. 17.6% smaller. It's a lot more photogenic. All right, this piece of wood is predominantly used for structure framing in the United States. These Victor Mouse Traps, or that Victor Mouse Trap, oh, yep, which is Works. still working, dates back to 1898. And you know what they're used for. Which one has gotten smaller over the years, Link? Hmm. It seems like mice have gotten bigger over the years. Uh, so have the traps gotten bigger with the mice, or have they discovered that you don't need as much trap to kill a mm. mice? Interesting thought there. But it's because a two by four, I mean, it's, uh, see, I know that two by fours are actually not two by four. Were they ever? Mm. I think this could be a trick. That is a question, maybe. So, 
I'm gonna tell you right now. I know two by four, two by twos are not two by twos. Two by fours are not two by fours. Uh, my dad yelled that at me one time. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna go with the two by four. Two by four has gotten smaller. It used to be two by four. You're right. This is also oh, something- at, I know construction all of a sudden. This is something my dad yelled at me at one point. Oh, you uh, too? No, it's actually working construction in high school. This is when everything, I learned everything is a lie. Yeah, they're just three and a half by one and a half. Now they were originally, as you can see for this original board, they were two yeah, by four, like early 1900s. But then they actually made them one, they worked their way down to an inch and a half times three and a half inches, a 34% decrease in order to basically uh, account for these cheaper wood al alternatives that were coming on the market. And they were like, I think we can get this done with a little bit smaller piece of wood. And let me tell you, that's true. You can get it done with a slightly smaller piece of wood. As long as you get it done. Yeah. Just shut up and get it done. That's right, just get it done, son. Brett, before you tell me about the next potentially shrunken item, I just want to invite the people to listen to oh, our podcast. You know? Do. Yeah. The ear, ear biscuits. Ear biscuits, yeah. yeah. Where wherever podcasts are sold. Are well, it's free. Oh, it is free. Wherever uh, podcasts are streamed. The podcast where two lifelong friends talk about life for a long time. Boy, you'll learn some stuff. Okay, Link. Moon pies, which are on your right, were invented in Tennessee in 1917. These graham cracker marshmallow sandwiches dipped in chocolate and four are four inches in diameter and weigh two ounces a piece. It's a banana flavored. Skippy peanut butter on your left was invented in 1932 by Joseph Rosenfield, an entrepreneur from Lexington, Ge Kentucky. Entrepreneur what? Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur what? Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. He in instituted the wide mouth jar. This guy came out with the wide mouth jar. Thank you, Joseph. Joseph Skippy? Well, Rosenfield. It And it holds 16.3 ounces, which has been shrunk flated. I, I'm gonna say the moon pie because I just think they made these bigger. I don't know, it just, it seemed, I, I think I remember a bigger version of this, even though I never ate it. You're wrong, Link. It's oh, the Skippy real? peanut butter, yes. Now, they downsized their standard bottle from 18 ounces to 16.3 ounces in 2000. They did it in a sneaky way. They kept the dimensions of the bottle the same, but they put a dimple in the bottom of the jar. Those dirty dogs did a dimple. I mean, look at that dimple. Well, and Link, you know what that means. Now I'm shrinking. The big Skippy is going home with me. Kleenex Ooh, yes. hit the market in 1924. It was advertised as a disposable face towel. This box of two-ply Kleenex has 95 sheets. Chapstick was invented in the 1880s in Lynchburg, Virginia. This tube has four grams. Which product has shrunk? Now, interestingly enough, both of these products, I don't know if you did this on purpose, Rhett, but they're both specific mm. products yep. that you, we use the term for the general product. Yes, what is that? It's called, there's a word, there's for, a word that. for that. I when think it's called, a, it's called Kleenexing something. Uh, no, there's it's a, called chapstick in it. There's a brand, brand something, yes, yes. This seems real thin. Hmm. I don't, I, I I think it's the Kleenex though. I think that- What are you the, basing this on? The, I just, I feel like the boxes were bigger when I was smaller, but maybe it's just because I was smaller. Well, I mean, you went to the chapstick and said, I feel like it was thinner, it, or it no, just I, seems thin. Yeah, I don't, I'm just going with my gut here. Kleenex. You're right, in 1972 it would have 125 sheets, uh, and Let's now there's that. a difference of 30 sheets by 24% decrease. Dang, Kleenex. Now Kleenex maker. Soft and spirited. Kleenex maker Kimberly Clark, uh, which is not a, a person but uh, two last names together, cited the rising cost of virgin fiber as the need for shrinkflation. And virgin fiber is what I called all my clothes in high school. <laughs> Uh, now, in 2013, they came out with tissues. You that got they, more facts? They, 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 well, I, I don't want to know more no, about Kleenex. They, no, but they, this is honest. important. They said they came out with things that were uh, sheets that were 15% bulkier, which made up for the 13% decrease. So you get the same it's like amount. like a two-ply type vibe. It's just fewer sheets and same amount of virgin fiber. Wheaties cereal was created in 1921 after an employee for the Washburn Company, later General Mills, accidentally spilled wheat bran mixture onto a hot stove. Whoops! Happy um, accident. Bob yeah. Ross in it. But they made Wheaties. Usually, like happy yeah. accidents make things better penicillin. than Wheaties. Like penicillin. Yum. Apple Jacks, originally called Apple O's, were invented in 1965. And this box of Apple Jacks is 10.1 ounces. Which cereal? Has shrunk itself. So there's already less Apple Jacks, 10.1 ounces. 
to 15.6 ounces of the Serena cereal, which is how I, I like to refer to it as. Genericization is almost yep. the word we were trying to remember yep. earlier. Yep. Uh, Apple Jacks is already smaller. I got no rationale to go on besides that. I'm going to go with Apple Jacks has shrunk. Yes, Link, you're right. Okay, this Apple Jacks box is from 2006, Ooh. which is 11 ounces, and in 2008, the box went down to 10.1 ounces for an 8.18% de decrease. So now, there's more Apple Jacks, but the box got bigger. Box got bigger, Apple Jacks got smaller. Exactly. Now, that same year, Kellogg's downsized Cocoa Krispies, Corn Pops, Fruit Loops, and Honey Smacks, but for some reason, they made Cracklin' Oat Bran really big. <laughs> Oh, and we got the other Don't you remember Wheaties. that year, the year of the big brand? Uh, yeah, and this is an old Wheaties box just because we thought you, you, we know how much you like Tim Duncan. Starbucks, or Starbuck, as I say when I'm doing a dad joke with my kids, okay. opened in 1971 in Seattle's Pike Place Market in 20, and then in 2019, it had over 31,000 stores worldwide. Their Grande Coffee, which sits before you, is 16 ounces. The Big Mac, on the other hand, was introduced in 1968 and has two 1.6-ounce beef patties, special sauce, iceberg lettuce, American cheese, pickles, you, onions, and is all served on three sesame buns. Are you telling me what a Big Mac is made of? Yeah, well, I'm telling the one person who doesn't know, okay? So which of these two has gotten smaller over the years? Now, so Grande, so this is a small or this is a medium? Medium. I refuse to play that game. Uh, Venti is the large, so Grande is the medium. There's no way the Big Mac has gotten smaller. Well, pick it up and I mean, I know fondle it a little bit and find out. Like, when the Big Mac would have been bigger, I wouldn't have been ordering Big Mac, so I don't have a palpable, prescient knowledge of Two this. Two big words about Big Macs you didn't think you'd hear today. That's yeah. I'm talking to you who didn't know what was on a Big it Mac. It has the word big from earlier. in it. I mean, for them to make that smaller is just, that is just despicable. But this is called big. I mean, grande. It's called grande. That means big. There's no way the Big Mac got smaller. I'm going with the medium cup of coffee, which they named to seem large, but then made smaller. Link, this is controversial, but the shrunken product is the Big Mac. Seriously? <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> and, and we acquired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we it definitely. When did we acquire this? Okay, so from? we went back to 1968. And we, <laughs> we, There's no way it's that big. Okay, so hold on. So this is an approximation. Let me just explain how we got here because if you're like me, you're skeptical at this point. <laughs> well, it's your point. You have to uh, own it. Okay. Some companies are honest about shrinkflation. McDonald's has said that they have not d decreased the size of the Big Mac over the years. But so well, many people right here. <laughs> so many people believe that they have that a year ago an Aust uh, Australian radio station tracked down a man who was in a 1990s McDonald's commercial where he holds the Big Mac right up to the camera and then they had him hold it again 28 years oh, later. Same guy, same hand. And that's what happened, man. Look at that. So so they did some sort of analysis as you get older, your hands shrink, though. Of uh, course. <laughs> they don't shrink that much. So, I mean, we made this one that is clearly bigger than any Big Mac ever was or even thought about being, but it was just to give you the sensation of what a bigger Big Mac might uh, seem like. Also, commercial Big Macs, nothing in commercials is real. We hey, already knew listen, to prove Link, that. An Australian radio Australian. station took a picture from a commercial. Can I just have my... Nope, you get this one. <laughs> You get, you know what? Because you've offended me, you get this one. Because you've offended, you know what? You can have both of these. I just, I, they're all chunky. Do you have any creamy? Uh, nope. Uh, yeah, I would have chosen, I would have chosen creamy, but I was just, I wanted to make you uncomfortable. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Emma from Adelaide, Australia, but right now I'm at the world's smallest park in Portland, Oregon. And it's time to spin the wheel of physicality. She probably listened to that radio show where they proved that the Big Mac had gotten smaller. Click the top link to watch us try bonsai trimming and good mythical more. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality's gonna land. Hey, if you want the Rhett and Link bobbleheads, it's the last month to join the Mythical Society third degree quarterly or annual plans by December 31st to be eligible. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.